say stuff or when we do stuff, we got to realize like people are really looking at us for this is the new, this is just how I need to look at it because this person looks at it like that. And, and what I've realized is just like, we need to be more innovative on just bringing that feeling back and bringing moments back to R&B. You know what I'm saying? And that, and that, and that will, will really bring the culture back to me. I'm going to tell, tell you a crazy thing is there's really not a platform for love. The way they got this algorithm programmed, they just got it really programmed for like, you know, not a balance of love. You know what I'm saying? So thinking like about an artist like you and you got a record, a love record, it's almost like, and, and you bearing your soul to a woman, it's not even a place. Then a playlist may not even put you in, in playlists because your shit got too much love in it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For real. For real. And that's what I that's what I'm trying to say. Who is controlling the frequency and the vibration? Because there's fear that's in the air about being free. I you wanna you're a certain type of cat. You 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 I wanna say girl fucks a lot. You know what I'm saying? So but you gotta think about other people that have the talent that's just stuck in the studio, like, oh my because god, what I, I do? I can't just sing what God gave me in my voice to sing. I'm I'm outside. I'm in the studio sessions with niggas all the time. And sometimes I'll go into an OG nigga session, like one of the, the big r and I'm saying no names or nothing, but I'll go into like one of the niggas from our time. And, and it'll be like, yo, I can't wait to make music with this nigga. And this happened countless times. I go in the studio. And when I get there, it's always this hesitation of like, yo, listen to these records. The records are always great. They sound like how they, how they used to sound. They may not sound like how our records sound, but they sound like how they're supposed to sound. And the music that's supposed to, that, that I feel like some of the OGs are supposed to be releasing, it's like this hesitation, like this, this like, yo, nah, I'm out of tune with what you're doing. I want to do what you're doing. And I'm like, nigga, I want to do what you're doing. The fuck are you talking about? But what niggas don't understand is it's like, we're only doing what we're doing because I feel like some of the OGs never really leaned down to show us how to do what they did. It, it just became this thing where it's like, now the OGs want to, it's just like, nah, if, if our shit isn't dark and toxic, then it's not going to go right. Yeah. It's like, yeah. nah, nigga, we, we, we need the, 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 the advice. We need all of the two cents that you have that yeah. shows us how to make records, yeah. that how to do harmonies again, that show us how to make shit sound great. Yeah. The, the, the things that you guys all must have somehow knew in this time when you were all recording these records, we need those. We need those, those gems so we can start making music like that. It's yeah. not one's controlling the algorithm, love. It's not that no one's controlling the algorithm. Okay. We're controlling the algorithm. And if we as R&B niggas and R&B people that don't stand up as a community of people that start actually uh, 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 standing together and just making what the fuck we want, we're going to be in this place where we're never going to make what we want to make. And we're always going to be at this place where R&B is obsolete in the club. And all we're hearing is copy-pasted songs about niggas with these imaginary ops, all these fake-ass guns from Call of Duty, and all this shit that niggas is talking about, and it's never gonna be that moment when we're in the club, they stop, they slow it down, you grab a shorty, and you, mm, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, yeah. this, this not that come. You know, so the, the, the innovation has to be re-brought out from not only the OGs, but even us as the young generation of all of us doing R&B, and niggas gotta do this one thing too. The R&B niggas is bougie. Stop that shit. We all need to work together. The problem is there's a lot of bougie shit going on. Because it's only some of us out, it's like, nah, I'm competition with that nigga because it's, only, it's a scarcity of us. But that's really what the problem is. Back in the day, you had the, the, the niggas jumping on songs with each other. The, you know what I'm saying? You had, you had moments. There's no more moments. There's a lot of bougie. I don't know if I should. Uh, uh, it, it's not like how it used to be. The unity needs to be back into our community. I, I don't mean to yeah. I am sure that. And, that, and that's what they are really about. As I, as I hear you talk about like OGs versus this and that, we, let's, 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 let's stop that right there. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody got something to learn something from, 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 from no matter what age you are or what era or whatever that you, you, you know, you, you, you came in. I'm, I'm glad this conversation is happening so everybody can stay. Cause I'm a unifier. You know what I'm saying? I, no, I'm not anybody that wants to like break people up or, or, or have us against each other, the different sub genres and the different styles. That's exactly. not the purpose is me recognizing and saying, like, you could be freer. 
Like, I, I love you as an artist. I'm listening to your music, and I know that there's more going on in your life. You know what I'm saying? And I know that, I mean, you got to, you, you, I mean, you, 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 you got to love. You know what I'm saying? But no, I know when a cat is in a, in a trick bag in a position and he got some cut on his stuff. So now when I'm saying why you one of my favorite R&B artists is that you ain't got no cut on your shit. You doing whatever the fuck you want to right. do. How you want to riff, doing whatever you want to do. And I'm saying it's important that whatever the, the producers that have the code, people that get together, I just wanted the energy. You know what I'm saying? We not what? here, we had to unify. All what? of us together what? and talk about a platform that's important for us as, you know, we got to have that balance. It's, it's part of our African-American culture. Everything else has been erased. Now the shit don't, you don't have a representation of that blackness and that freeness the way we want to do it. Let me ask you this. Why don't you think cats use bridges or vampires or do apps? It's disconnected. What my fault? I didn't hear the last Yeah, no, it's all good. I said, I want to ask you a question. Why don't you think cats do like bridges or vamp outs or have instrumentation or changes of B section? I'm trying to tell you, the, 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 the difference is, is that this, the love is not... And, and I don't mean like as in like the love, like, yo, we all love each other. And it's that too, but the love is not being made in the music. And like, I want to touch on something right quick. Like, for instance, I've seen Hitmaker say, you know, he didn't agree with us saying, you know, R&B is dead right now, right? And, you know, somebody like Hitmaker, for instance, there's a structure that I feel like I make music on. I sample a lot. Hitmaker samples a lot. We sample a lot. And because the songs we're sampling are so big, sometimes you just kind of want to flip it and you want to do something different and you want to do something that's quick and then something that's whatever the case is. But a lot of that time, and even I, I fall victim to this too, being that a lot of that's my fault too. Like niggas like, niggas like me and niggas who kind of just go through the music fast and shit like that, sometimes that's our fault too because at the end of the day, we're not adding all the extras. Now, when I go do the chicks tapes or when I do Playboy, that's why now everything is about the production. Niggas is sitting here getting the songs from the from from the same um ten producers. The same beats is floating around through all of us, and we all sit in there, right? And, and remember, the beats is simple beats. Niggas is getting these beats out and getting them out and just sending them out. They not taking the time to go sing, take the moment and be like, yo, we need to go make a, a, a bridge right now. Call the guitar nigga in, call this nigga in because it needs to sound more peaceful or whatever the case is, or call a Simpson or, or whatever. We're not, we're not doing the extras to really make the songs no more. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and because it's becoming this copy paste, like, yo, we copy the bridge here. We do, we do something like the original hook here and we da 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 It's becoming to be this thing where it's just like, it's blah. And, and I think what niggas, is, what niggas have to understand, and I'm telling y'all this just because I'm a nigga who really samples the whole industry right now. Though. There was a time when niggas said, yo, Tori, do not sample these type of records because they're too big. Like, it was like, of course, a lot of your records too. Like, yo, niggas, don't touch this record because don't touch a, a Shanti Foolish. Don't touch <laughs> this type of record over here. It's too big. And I remember niggas was going crazy on me, like, yo, da, da, da. but then now it's getting to this point where it's like, yo, niggas caught on to, nah, there's nostalgia in these records that we still can pull out. Now it's gotten to this carbon cut thing where niggas have gotten to a place where they simplify it and, and we're really living off the fact that the beat is the fucking sample of something we love. We don't even fucking like the song. We like the sample. We love the sample. We're in love with the sample, my nigga. Yeah. Every I'm hearing like 10 drill songs right now with amazing samples from everybody. And I don't know if I truly love the songs or if I love the samples. I love the samples though. That's really what it is. Because as a person and as an artist, you got to understand like I rap and sing, but when I'm doing R&B, what I'm referring to and what I'm going and what I'm pulling from are the places where these samples are coming from. It's that golden era of R&B. Now we're getting to a point where it's like, yo, if I just come up with a sample right now, that everybody <laughs> yeah. I throw some, I throw some drills on this joint right here. Yeah. I put a hook, say a little bit of dumb shit. Boom, send it out. It's, 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 you know what I'm saying? 
Or yeah, better yet, a if it's a new rap song and I just put the, I even will put the fucking sample of the actual original hook, of the original song that I like as the hook. And, and, and as long as that shit plays, it's going to give niggas nostalgia and they're going to sing it because they already know it. So it's like, it's taking the hardness away from artists to have to, you know? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. That's, I, I, that's, I definitely... That's, I definitely want to make sure that everybody knows that I give respect to all of the subgenres. Everybody doesn't have to sound the same. You ain't got to have the same style. You know, all I'm pushing for, though, is I'm, I'm introducing the love era. That's why I'm having the conversation. You know what I'm saying? Sure. And, 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 and I'm definitely here. If anybody, wanna, any young artist want to work, want to produce, want to talk about even anything that I could share, because it is about teaching about song structure, arrangement, and different things like that, that a lot of cats ain't get. And it's only a, lo a couple of people. We got Jermaine Dupree coming on a little later. He's going to be speaking about shit. But I definitely think this is a, a great time since it got everybody so fueled up. Like, okay, is he talking about, like, old R&B and versus new R&B? Nah, okay, the conversation is that we talking. Now let's come together and let's make some music for the ladies. Let's make some music to make love to. Let's make some music to have foreplay. Your niggas yeah. is moving too much. You're not taking your time. You're not caressing her. You're not, you're not <laughs> even letting the record breathe, B. You're not letting the record breathe. And then you motherfucking going back and being dirty. For sure. And you're not happy. You know what I'm saying? Right. And R&B is about making her happy. And I don't, that's, what, that's my thing. And that's my opinion. That's my opinion. My that that's where it starts at, or or from a uh, from even a female perspective, the vulnerability. Yeah. But as you know, what I'm trying to bring to the game is something for us to, um, you know, to to connect with. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A frequency, a way a male and female could connect. It's where you could be on the motherfucking Cogs way or going up. You know what I'm saying? The FDR. That Quinn and I just said it the best. Niggas, niggas is just it's, it's gotten to a place where in our generation we just scared to love, or we scared to be vulnerable enough to show that that we're in love. Like you get what I'm saying. And the thing about it is, I'm I'm a tough nigga. I'm from where I'm from. I be in love, yo. You feel me? Like these songs don't come out of nothing. Like a nigga be in love. A nigga be yeah, nah, nigga. You love hard up over shit. Yo, yo, you got some people. real love hard bars. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? So again, I'm gonna let you get back to what you're doing. I just wanted to touch on. On, on those points because I, I always felt like, yo, these may be the, the, the defining factors in us as youngins and us as young people right now, including you, all of us, just in our generation right now, just being young and vibrant enough to be outside and bringing that feeling back. And so if we all come together and as, and again, I hate to make this rhyme, but put more unity in our community, if R&B, I think right now we'll step to the forefront and it'll be, it'll be what it's supposed to be. Because the, the, the reality of it is when you talk about the algorithm and you say, yo, this is turning into this, the reality of it is, the reason why they stopped us from doing R&B is because it was the one thing, no disrespect, that the niggas had, that white niggas wasn't really able to do like us. So they took it out because it was the one thing. White niggas can rap, they can sing too. White people can do everything. I'm not, I'm not taking away. But this was the one thing we had that came from yeah. so, came from our situation, came from our no struggle, community. Yeah, and, and, and that's my that's my big fire passion motivation is that like I saw that taken away. I saw that magic taken away. I went to go see Jasmine Sullivan the other day and I was uh, I mean a couple of weeks back and I was just like, man, like you know, the way she sings and sounds and, and, and the way she just performs live and, and, and she's free, the shit is like, you know, she's like a black queen. You know, musical goddess. Incredible. You understand Incredible. what I'm saying? Incredible. And there's like so many cats. I've been got. I got. I got hit with so many people that really wanna to 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 give that love and give those vocals. Mm. It ain't set up. The game. That shit is dead. If yeah, you think you come out and put out like a four minute song and you're gonna showcase your vote, you ain't gonna have nowhere to play that. That's a fact. That's what I'm talking about. Right. And it's shit got to stop. Killed on. We not going to let them kill it because we're going to come together. Yo, Tori, I'm finishing up my album. You know what I'm saying? I got I have everybody on. I, I don't see a name on there, though, right there. We got Jasmine Sullivan, Party Next Door. We got now, The Weeknd. We got Babyface John. Yo, it's crazy. Hey, listen. I got her. I'm, I'm going in for three weeks. Listen, I'm doing a love camp for three weeks. And I'm inviting. I'm going to set it up. 
in Miami. I'm inviting all of the R&B producers out there. We're going to set up shit by the pool and things like that. And then in the bathroom, right, right, we're going to take over whatever. And we're going to make some real music. And we're going to come and unify and get this conversation going. We're going to learn from each other. I will be there. I, yeah, you be there? There we go. I will be there. And, and I just want to say in closing, like, I'm coming there with all types of vibes, even for the rest of this year. Like, as far as when it goes to, to being creative, I want all the R&B niggas to know, like, yo, don't stop yourself from being creative. And also, don't think you need to have some sort of package. I don't care if you fat, small, skinny, tall, whatever you are. I don't care if you got a, a nose like Big Bird, nigga. Go and go after your shit. That's what makes you unique, and that's what makes us love you. So at the end of the day, bro, I'll be there in Miami. I'm coming with all kind of vibes. 60, that's right. 80, 90, I'm not playing. I'm, I'm, let's I'm, go. I'm, let's go. We, 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 we have our first super producer signed up for the love. Records finishing up my album camp. <laughs> I don't know what to call it yet, but you know. But yo, we we, we definitely gotta connect, King. And I we appreciate will. you calling in, man. Always love and my brother. I, I do I do agree on what you said. It's not a lot of earth shattering albums out right now. And I think like just like you know, everybody chill. I'm about to drop. Oh, just, 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 December. I'm dropping. I'm, I'm gonna drop an earth shattering one. It's just oh, you dropping an earth shattering one? Okay, cool, cool. I just, I just wanted. To... God, it might be kind of check us out. Me too. Me All too. My brother. in November though. You got September. I'm coming in November. Winter's That's coming. And winter's we... coming and winter's mine. Love, my brother. I got you. Love, love. love. Sure.